Do you know what I mean? Yeah, man. I mean, you know. I'll wear both hats today. I have no problem. You can be Brendan and Anthony. I'll be Brendan and Anthony today. Well, Anthony doesn't do much. So just be Brendan. <laughs> let, let Anthony take the day off and just be Brendan. Now, you're overlooking all that there is to being Anthony. <laughs> yeah, man. Anthony does a lot more than you think. I know. Yeah, I set up the Patron page. You didn't. Brendan did. I'll be Brendan for this I, one. See, you're missing. You didn't. I'm Brendan and I did. Oh, now we're both. You're rotating we're, Brendan. We're both Brendan. Yeah. Now, you're, see, you're thinking about the Patron page. I'm talking about our Patron page. <laughs> oh, for, <yeah. laughs> I'm talking about a separate page Front. that I have made mm-hmm. for all of our tequila needs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, is it just a Word document that says Patron? Yes, Get it, it. Is. <laughs> it's an, It's an essay that I wrote yeah. in Word about uh, uh, some, you know, the ups and downs of tequila drinking. <laughs> And I have, uh, I have assembled that into a website, yeah. um, www.ourpatronpage.com. That sounds... So I don't know exactly what's on the future. I don't know what the future holds mm-hmm. for our Patron page. Yeah. I just know that right now it is one what? Oh, put the headphones on. No. I set them up for you. Okay. All right. If you, you set them up... I did. did. I don't know why I did. Oh, but finish about the Patron page. So anyway... Do you hear yourself? <laughs> Yeah, isn't that I do. fun? I I don't like I like it better off headphone. Really? Yeah, because then I feel like I'm just talking. But either way, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Oh. Um. But the Patron page. Yeah. Sorry. <sighs> right now, it's okay. Right now, it's just one word document. Uh huh. That are the ups and downs of tequila drinking. Where does it live? And where it are It lives the on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, and what? What do you mean? Like, what website do I go to to view the Patron page? Where do the listeners w- at home? I told, uh, I said, www.ourpatronpage.com. <laughs> and it's just one word document. One word. So far, it's just one word document. I didn't know where else to go with it. And how many sentences? Or is it just one word? What? A thousand words. All right. Because I originally was going to turn it in for a college paper. <laughs> So they asked. So you told me that you were going to be Brendan on this podcast. <laughs> I'm both the normal person, and then you open with, "I have a one-word document online about a Patron that just says drink Patron, guys." And also, you felt no. this, that this helps the podcast somehow. <laughs> yeah, well, that <laughs> that's the part that I need to work out. I uh, so I knew that we had to do a Patron uh-huh. Patreon. So uh. I also created the. I I had. Here's the thing. I had the Patron essay done mm-hmm. from college. Oh, of course. So I, mean, I, I got it. I thought that maybe we should have a Patron page, too. This is what I feel like you did. Sure. In grammar school, the teacher would say, did everyone do their homework? Mm-hmm. And I would go, oh, here's some homework. And yeah. they'd be like, this is from three months ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and exactly. And I'd go, well, oh, I didn't know. I yeah. did the wrong assignment. Yeah. And I have a little more time on last night's exactly. assignment. Exactly. But look at this one. Isn't this pretty good? I mean, you to never the did the assignment. The teacher did your homework for you. <laughs> Brendan uh, set up the Patreon page. Yeah, Brendan did. That <laughs> everybody knows that. But I, I, that's I let it be known that I set up the Patron page. It will be known. And also, if you want to see the Patron page, cannot get to it. Uh, it might be down today. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I, I'm not sure if I. I footed the bill. Uh, uh, it, it, it's probably going to be down today, uh, and uh, I don't know for the foreseeable future. Uh, it, yeah, I think so. <laughs> But I don't know. I wish websites were easier to get. Because I would just make this one for you. Yeah. And I, for the fans to look at. I don't at. know that they're that hard anymore. No, you got to have $8 a month. Oh, yeah, that's the only issue. That is the thing. I'd love to have uh, enough money where I could make all these goofy websites. Yeah. I'm just trying to live in that world. Yeah, what's the richest thing? If you're the, rich, if you're the richest, what's the, what's the thing you do? Richest thing that yeah. I would do? You say, all right, you got all the money in the world, no questions asked. Uh, and Anthony Go. I, I think I'd buy most of the suits. <laughs> most of the suits manufactured. Yeah, yeah. Like, not all of them, but most of them. So people had to come to me if they wanted to get a suit. Yeah, then you're the suit quarter. You're yeah. The, and then, you're, then you're just making more money. What's up? That's a business more than fun. Oh, okay. Just a fun thing that I would do if yeah. I had, uh, how much, all the money in the world, you said? I, I give you a credit card, and only I know how much on is on it, and the limit is limitless. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, man. I'd love to. I'd love to create dogs you could ride. Oh, that's see, that's what I want to get into. Yeah, dog riding. Yeah, 
Because I don't know why. I always, um, when I see a dog big enough, like a Great Dane or one of those uh, bigger guys, mm-hmm. uh, I, my, like my aunt had Afghans. Of course. Afghan hounds my yeah. whole life. And uh, she never let me ride on them. Yeah, yeah. But she fed a table food. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what's worse. I don't know either. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but what I'm, what, I don't know why it's bad to ride on a dog. Because it, they'll break their back because you're too heavy. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh. That's it. So everybody knows. Yeah, I think that's pretty common knowledge. Really? You can't really ride on a dog unless you're a little person. You, you know, dogs aren't horse-sized. Right. Even but cats. little kids can ride on a dog, or even that's bad. Depending on the dog. you got to get a real feathery kid. Yeah, a real light, light, light <laughs> Real bones. lightweight. Yeah. yeah. Asian kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They tend to be lighter. they got different bones. Yeah, well, the skin pigmentation they're missing makes Asian people lighter. <laughs> You think there's weight in skin pigmentation? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's insane. It's just like a battery. If the battery has no energy in it, it's lighter. Lead is dark. Lead? Yeah, lead. Lead is dark. Yeah, isn't lead dark? Like, no, I think it's silver. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, but... No, but lead in like a pencil, that's like a dark gray. Mm, yeah. What I, I mean no is that... It, no one really What knows. I'm saying is that it speaks to your idea... That lead is heavier. That darkness is heavier. Yeah, darkness is heavier. Also, when you're sad, you carry a heavy heart. <laughs> it's dark. You're in a dark place. Okay. All right. That right. makes sense. So you think if black people were white people, they'd weigh less? Yes. Yes. White people are notoriously <laughs> lighter. <laughs> so, it's like uh, if you weigh yourself on the moon. Why doesn't anyone take that new? Uh, why doesn't anyone take that new account? Because it's not real. And you can't go. That's to the moon. why. Oh, bring Brendan now. Yeah. This is yeah because that. Because I would say, why doesn't anyone take into account? And Brenda would go, I'll tell you why. Because that's not you can't real. Go to the moon. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's hard being Brendan. It is. I don't know how he does it. It's way more fun being us. Yeah, because we just say anything and hope he fixes it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll say this, and now <laughs> yeah. you fix it. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I just did this whole thing on black people weighing more than white people. And I supported all and of supported it. it. And now that's just out there in the world. <laughs> We're have, and not, it's. <laughs> In the future, they'll go back, like, did you not say this? And like, is that racist? I don't know what's racist. It's a crazy thing I made up in my mind. I don't but I know it's not. think that's racist. True, but I can't prove to myself. Because it's just, it's just crazy. Yeah. It, <laughs> you got to be like, no, that's not racist. It's just dumb. Yeah, also, they only weigh more by, like, half an ounce. It's not even a lot. Oh. So it's not even noticeable. Yeah, you, most scales don't even pick it up. The most scales don't pick it you gotta up. you got to get a special scale. And I sell them. <laughs> that's what I would do with my money. So that's what you would do. Sell I would these. sell scales that took into account your weight, your color, your skin. They would say, you're 148 pounds and you're Puerto Rican. Just in case you didn't know. That's fun. I like that a lot. Wait. It just tells you all the information. Yeah. So what would you do? Because I, I think you brought this up probably to say your own thing, right? No, I didn't, but I do have a bunch of ideas. Great. I'd love I to would, hear them all. Yeah. I would open a school. Oh. Yeah. I've, we've talked about open this. Open a school. I'd love to talk more about oh, it. Oh, I don't know if I've ever talked about this. Well, you'd correct me. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I would open a school and then tell them and leave one thing out of history. Like, not tell them. Like, <laughs> oh, just no, not teach Abraham this. Lincoln. <laughs> okay. So then just as there's a how, kids who just have no idea about Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> not Abraham. I would say, like, Taft. Someone that, like, you may never right. bring up again. All right. So they may leave never. Out. That may never happen. That may, no, that may never happen. That may never come out later on in their life. Yeah. The Taft gets brought up. Maybe, even. like, they're 60 and someone's like, hey, man, what about Taft? Hey, who the fuck is Taft? <laughs> Yeah, man. We didn't learn about Taft. So this is the main thing you want to open up the school for? <laughs> yeah. That's the kind of money I got. You I got, have so many of those little projects. You got the kind of money to deprive kids of complete education? <laughs> no, not a complete education. Uh-huh. Just about Taft. Oh, all right. Yeah, just about Any Taft. reasoning? Do you, you don't come out with that. They just find out later. What do you mean? Oh, no, we don't say we don't teach Taft here. We right. just tell the teachers you're not allowed to bring them up. You're never allowed to talk about them. They go through all the presents. They don't say his name. They go 48, 50. I feel like this is more of a joke on the teachers. It's a joke on the student. It might be. I mean, the students, I don't even think like you would, like, there might be presidents that you mentioned that I go, oh, maybe I remember that. Like, but I don't know because it's so long ago. Yeah. So if you don't remember Taft, I don't think it's a big deal. But for the teachers, for you to be very upfront and be like, we don't speak Taft's name. We don't do this. We don't do that. Not even allowed to say that, though. What do you mean? Not even allowed to say. Oh, you don't even. We're not allowed to talk about Taft. So what do you do? You take all the history books and rip those pages out? You rip that page out. <laughs> you highlight over it. <laughs> okay. You have our own history books. Oh, really? Yeah, we have our own history books that like leave out... So- I, I'm not saying Taft. I'll say something, like 9-11. <laughs> right. We won't teach it. 
I won't say 9 11 because that's right. too obvious. It's too obvious. I like the Taft thing. Taft more. is good. Yeah. You know, or, or um, that women are something else. <laughs> you know? What are women? They don't teach gender. Well, that seems like oh. ultra progressive. But we would just like, what are you talking about? Women and girl. No, that's just, that man just doesn't have a penis. <laughs> right. right. Like all men, you know. Right. I always, I always wish I went to one of those uh, super progressive, you know what I mean, where mm. you get like a, instead of a bee, you get like a dandelion. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. I'd love to know what they're about. Yeah. Because I feel like you and I grew up in a, it was conservative. Yeah. For, and even if you were not conservative, that you, you would still be considered conservative. Like the idea of a hippie to me, I don't oh, yeah. know that I ever met until college or after college, yeah. maybe. Yeah. yeah. I was like a classic hippie. Yeah. yeah, me too. I they were bad. Yeah. And then you grow up and you're like, they're the nicest. I love hippies. They're the kindest people in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I also want to be so, what's the opposite of progressive? Regressive? Yeah, sure. Regressive uh-huh. that you're progressive, right? By being okay. like, we're not even going to teach you about women to the fact that we don't even teach you to exist, to the fact that we teach you we're right. all the same. Right. Hence, now we're progressive. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Well, I don't... Uh, Does that make sense? No. I, baby. Were you not listening? Say it again. No, I was listening. Oh, all right. Um, well, I'm saying, like, yeah. be so regressive, right? Uh-huh. That you go, like, we don't teach you about women existing. We teach you, of course, things they've done. Sure. But we're just like, oh, no, that's just a guy without a dick. Yeah. Which, to some point, if you go back far enough on that, you're just being ultra-progressive. You're just saying, like, we're all one. We're all humans. Yeah, I thought that was progressive to start, though. What part of that's conservative? Because you start by being like, what, what the fuck is that? That's nothing. <laughs> Only men exist. <laughs> oh, Only oh, men. I see what you mean. Yeah, you're not even acknowledging that's a woman. You're going, that's a man without a dick. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, start yeah. from there, but then you end <laughs> right. with like, oh man, actually, if you think about it, it's pretty progressive. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. I like that. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so we have a quiz. <laughs> <laughs> then you just threw that ball out of the bounds. You, literally, there's no player to catch that one. Brendan's not here. <laughs> oh, you just right. threw that ball yeah. into the crowd. Because that's always my safety for yeah. when I'm like, ah, I think Are I'm bored. No, I'm not bored. All right, I'll just- throw out some topics. <laughs> No, man, we I'm not good. bored. We can still make this fun. Yeah, I got to take my headphones off, though, because I feel, feel too podcasty with them on. Me, too. I don't like the sound. <laughs> but I have to hear you. Or else I won't know. Oh, that. that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Man, a lot of hats we're wearing today. Well, I'm wearing the same amount of hats, which are just a pair of headphones. Oh, right. And myself. Yeah, and I'm refusing to do more. What's more? I don't know. Uh, more than this. All right. I don't know if this is going. I mean, I'm kind of stoned, so I don't know if this is going well. I feel like I'm having a great time. Yeah. I thought we was having a great time. I, <laughs> but I'm reading as you. You're having a horrible time. <laughs> no, I'm having a good time, man. Okay. I'm having a great time. I just had to take the headphones off because I get too, like, ah, I'm just, like, hearing myself. Yeah, I yeah, hear yeah. myself, too. Because I think I sound like that, that voice. It's like, well, welcome to the store. I don't do that <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? What do, what do you... Like a classic voice. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is welcome to the store... In your head, what what are the visuals that you have when you say welcome to the like store? Like a commercial guy. Like he's like, uh, well, here is the Ober... I don't, I don't know words. <laughs> so like, bad at riffing I am. I can't even... <laughs> what do you mean? Like you, you think the guy's selling something? Yeah, I think I have like a classic radio voice. You kind of do. Yeah, and I hate it. <laughs> really? I would, I would love that. No, it's because it's, it's like, to you, it's like doing a character. Right. Now imagine doing a character oh, all, the time, all the time that you can't get out of. Yeah. But you don't inherit, I mean, you have like some qualities of that, but you play those qualities up. Radio man? Radio man. Yeah, absolutely. Hang on, I got to check this uh, text. All right. It says, uh, waiting to hear back, but looking promising. What's that about? About doing Nathan McIntosh's podcast tomorrow. Oh, cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, you want to do this thing or no? Sure. Or do something else to talk about. What are we doing? I was going to do the movie. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. That's fine. Yeah, Jailer, Jailer and the Guard. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll be the Jailer. Yeah. No, no. You're the jail guy. You're in jail. I'm in jail. And I'm the Guard. Yeah. Do we want to do any trailers for other upcoming movies before the big oh, like a feature? feature? Oh, sure. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, this was your idea. Yeah, I know. I I regret it now. Um, Just say uh, anything. Yeah. Okay. There's too many orange slices. Oh, too many orange slices. Yeah. Uh, this one is about uh, 
uh, soccer game and they brought too many oranges at oh. halftime and they don't know what to do. Ah, where are we going to sit? <sighs> what are we going to do? Where are we going to sit? What are we going to do? What's next for us? Maybe pay attention to the game. How are we going to pay attention to the game when there's, when there's so, so many, oranges. many oranges? God damn it. I guess we'll just have to forfeit. Eat all these oranges. Oh, yeah. I, how about this one? Too many oranges part two. Yeah. Dinner time. <laughs> okay, great. How are we going to eat all these oranges? Oh, my God. I'm supposed to go to prom in an hour. <laughs> but we got all these oranges. I'm all oranged in. It's uh, can't get through the door. <laughs> ah. <laughs> She's not gonna, my date's not even going to be able to get in the building. <laughs> House. Great. All right, so let's go to our feature now. Okay. Are we going to do this? Yeah. Oh, man, all right. Yeah, we're doing this, man. Because I'm super high, so you may have to get me back on this track if I'm off the track. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me, let, me, let me put sunglasses on. Yeah, put sunglasses on. I think that'll help. Plus, you'd be like a cool-ass guard, you know? Yeah, man. Really, how about your character? Here's your meat, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for my meat, man. So, uh, first meal of the day. Breakfast time. Yeah. Eat your breakfast. Eat your breakfast, little man. <laughs> what are you in for, anyway? Arm robbery. And I appreciate you calling me little man. My <laughs> name on the outside. My street name. We heard about you, little man. Yeah, I mean... Second time you said, kind of feels like you're being a little demeaning towards me. But I'll, nah, I'll, I'll go with you on it, you know? Nah, man, you're, I'm you're a, a renowned little man. Yeah, I can't get a read on which way you're going with this little man thing. At first, I was uh, very excited because, you know, I've been locked up for a couple years now, and no one's really called me little man for a while, and then you did, and it brought me back to a place where I was uh, filled with riches. And the second time you did it, and I thought... Okay, maybe this guy is taking a dig about my height. The third time you were so explicit about it that uh, I'm a little bit more confused, to be honest. Yeah, man. I don't know you on the outside, but you're in jail. So yeah. what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm calling you out. Calling you out for being for scum of the earth because you're in jail. Okay. All prisoners <laughs> get no All, respect from me. No respect. <laughs> so when you initially called me little man... Suffice to say, you were being insulting. Yes. Okay. I was calling you little, man. All right. Five times a charm, huh, pal? Okay, great. Listen, uh, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, so what? So you gave me my food, yeah. and you're just going to sit around, and you're going to make fun of me, huh? Here's the deal, man. Just tell me why you're in, all right? Because in my mind, you just scum like everybody else. I told so, you I told uh, your arm robbery. Oh, you did? I did. I do not have a good memory. That's all right. I mean, you were hell-bent on just uh, making fun of my height the whole time. Did you hurt anybody? Did I hurt anybody? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, the, the owner of the house. I, I did. I hurt the man a little bit. You killed him? No. I just, uh, I hurt him. I, I, I damaged his rib cage with a body shot. You punched him in the ribs. I punched him in the ribs, man, in the heat of the action. I, you know, I was, I was going through the jewels in the bedroom, and, uh, <laughs> oh, boy, I thought he was a hero. So Who was all by? Is this anyone we know? Yeah, Emmett Smith. You attacked Emmett Smith? I attacked Emmett Smith. And well, you ribbed him? I ribbed him a little bit. Yeah, he's not, you know, look, man, he, uh, he's not in the playing shape that he once was, okay? Yeah, but, for, I mean, I don't mean to insult you. I'm trying to, you know, we're having a conversation. But for a little guy, I appreciate that. For a little guy to all right, jab yeah. up. Come on now, huh? To jab up Emmett Smith, that's pretty big. Well, Emmett Smith also, he's not that tall. Really? Yeah, for a running back. I, I think that's what also attributed to his success yeah. is his low center of gravity. He's uh, kind of a short guy How in tall? terms of athletes. How tall? I don't know. He's probably like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, five, How tall are you? 5'4". So he's still a little smaller. Yeah, he's, he's a, still a tall But I'm thing. saying he's not like... He's taller than me, but if you looked at the median height of everyone in this country, he would be in the lower rankings. Yeah, but also he's a football player, so he's going to be tougher than most people. Yeah, I know, but he was a football player in his bedroom. He's not a football player all the time. He was sleeping. Wait a minute. Yeah, but I'm I'm a, I'm a mad. Oh, so you punched him in the ribs while I was sleeping. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, I mean, that's a very funny idea, but that I've already you know, said something else, so I have to go with that. Uh, he... Well, actually, I think he was sleepwalking. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. You ribbed him. I ribbed him because 
He, I think he might be, uh, you know, narcoleptic. Maybe uh, I was going through the jewels, uh-huh. and then all of a sudden, uh, I, I, I feel a tap on my shoulder. Uh huh. And then I, and I, and I look, and I'm like, oh boy, here we go. But yeah, no, his eyes were shut, sound asleep. He was snoring, so I, I ribbed him he a little bit, right ran ribs. out of the, ran out of the house, and then I was caught because uh, the alarm had been going off for uh, several minutes, um, and huh. I. I didn't. Uh, I was so focused when I when I do a robbery. I like to listen to uh, music, like pump up music. Ah, uh, hear you, like Baby yeah. Driver. I yeah. think I only saw the trailer. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Um, he listens to music when he drives. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I listen to pump up music while I'm doing a robbery. Felt the tap, ribbed him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then didn't know that the cops, I guess, had been there for I don't know at least uh, five or ten minutes. So I I thought I got away with it. I ran out, and then uh. sure enough. They were all waiting for me. What song? What uh, song do you, do you listen to when you're robbing? I listen to uh, Come on, Ride the Train by the Quad City DJs. Wow. Yeah. And that'll pump you up. Ah, Come yeah. Come on, Ride the Train. Ride it. Yeah. Punch. I mean, it's, yeah, it's crazy because I'll get in there and I'll punch up a few, I'll punch up a few uh, prisoners. Yeah. And totally. I also like to listen to music. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got your own little pump. What are you listening to? Uh, mm, boom, boom. <laughs> oh, yeah, for Ferris Bueller's yeah, Day I'll, Off. And I'll just rip people up, you know? Oh, yeah, Grill man. Grill them out. All right, so maybe you and I have more in common than we initially thought. Yeah, but I got to say, like, with you, especially robbing, I uh-huh. honestly think that with you, you're going to want your ears. So are you, you, are you a, were you considered a good robber in your class? Uh, I, you know, no, I was not. Mm. Uh, people, uh, yeah, people had brought that up to me uh, mm. earlier, and I said, nah, I don't know, I, think you're, I, don't, I don't think you need your ears. Uh, I, don't, I don't even think you're in your eyes sometimes. Did you ever go eyeless? What's up? I would squint. <laughs> Give yourself a harder time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I would squint. Or I would try you, to really challenge myself. Do you or just also, need glasses? You know, what's up? Yeah, I just need, I need glasses. Um, I just didn't realize that that would carry over into robbery. Man. Yeah. So how many, here's the thing. I'm, th- I'm going to be honest with you. Um, this has all just been me trying to figure out whether or not you're someone I can trust. Yeah. And I got to be honest, you totally. haven't been giving me very good evidence that can trust you. I was hoping you were one of the guys who was wrongfully accused. What's up? No, very but, rightfully <laughs> accused. 100%. I, uh, I actually, I was on the plaintiff's side during the court case. You were complaining? No, I was you on the, I, like, they would be like, does the defendant want to say anything? And I would go, no, I agree with him. You're right. In fact, there's a bunch of stuff you don't even know about oh, man. that I've been doing. More than plead guilty. Yeah, I, I tried to plead, I pled super guilty. <laughs> and they said, that's not a thing. And I said, well, it should be, Your Honor. Yeah, man. Yeah. So what are you in for? How'd you get an, end up in this whole crazy mess? Oh, well, I'm a, I work here. I'm the jailer. Now, I know, but you set out your whole life, you wanted to be a jailer? No, I haven't been. I've got a, some other things I'm trying to do, but this just gives what me What do you money. got cooking? This just pays my bills. Well, I'm trying to find my father, to be honest with you. Really? Yeah. Well, okay, so how did that? Uh, what have you been doing so far? To find him? Yeah, Ancestry.com. No, I don't, no I've just been asking inmates. <laughs> what? I've just been like, hey, man, do you know my dad? <laughs> because that's who I see the most. So have you been going from job to job doing this, or you just started doing this in the prison? Yeah, I mean, I've been working in this prison for 30 years. Okay. And whenever new prisoners come in, I usually go, hey, man, do you know Professor <laughs> Ringworm? And I'm trying Professor, to Professor, oh, okay. Professor, Professor Ringworm. Ringworm. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but nobody, like, has known him. No one has met him yet. And I don't really, I'm not very big at being a detective. So I was looking for somebody to come on an adventure with me, help me find my father. Oh, I mean... Yeah, man, I'll have to bust out of here. But if I'm going to bust out of here, uh, I'm going to need some help. That's what I'm saying. That's where you come in. Yeah. Okay. I mean, clearly, I'm the guy to bust you out. Uh-huh. I got the keys. Oh, we're just going to walk on out of here. Well, I mean, I got a few ideas. I was going to wait till the nighttime. And then. All right. Well, I, or we can just walk out now, but then I can't ever come back. Well, it's breakfast now. Yeah. So why don't we do this? All right. uh, you go do your own thing. All right. I'm going to do my own thing. Uh-huh. And then let's meet back at here. For, uh, you know, dessert. Sure. What's your own thing? <laughs> what? I mean, I'm out of jail. My own thing could be millions of things. You're in a box, and you're clearly blowing me off because you've got something to do in jail. I want to I work on my drawings. <laughs> Can I work on my drawings? Yeah, but Without gonna... being uh, rained over? <laughs> Are you going to bring them with you? What? I mean, you're going to draw these things now, and then we're going to leave them in jail. Yeah, I'm going to bring them with me, so I have something to sell on the outside. 
Look, man, if I'm you... I'm going to sell my art. Oh, I love that you're going to sell your art. Yeah. And I'm down with you doing that later, but I will give you money if you help me find my father. Yeah. I'll pay you. Oh, okay. So you're saying that I don't go do my drawings. You're just going to pay me. I'm saying... Because the only reason I was doing them was to sell them outside. I mean, I would also like to make a name for myself. I could just draw on the money. The money that I give you? <laughs> yeah. That's, if you just draw on paper, then you won't be wasting money. I'll give you money, and you could buy paper for cheaper than probably the money you're going to draw on. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Right? All right, I'll do that. Because why have one thing when you can have two? Drawings and money, but if you draw on the money, then you'll just have money. Well, yeah, I was thinking about selling money. the money. For more than the money's worth? No, for the exact amount. So you're just going to get change? <laughs> Guess so I didn't. Really, I mean, I didn't really think this. This is a lot like my robbery history. <laughs> yeah, you're bringing so. up a lot of good points that fellow robbers had brought up to me in the past about you know my actions. I am stuff. really questioning my judgment on bringing you on this detective mission with me. You don't seem very smart. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not very smart. Yeah. But what I lack in brains, uh-huh. I make up for in agreeability. Sure. <laughs> so you want to go? I you know I'm all for this. You want to go find your dad? Great. Yeah, uh, this is yeah. I'm in. I'm in. You want a guy like me? Well, look, you don't have to sell yourself. You are also the only guy locked up. There's nobody in this jail, so it's a cheap jail. So yeah. I really have to take you. There's, there's nobody else. So this. <laughs> so let me let me backtrack for a second. Yeah, I know you you called me a little you know uh, a little dumb in the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the only person in this jail, and this has been your grand mission to find your father, asking new inmates. Yeah. So I'm the only one. Yeah, we haven't had somebody in like, I don't know, I don't know, probably four years. My, this is a pretty nice town. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. Smith's town. I would say so. Not a lot of trouble. I did think it was weird how uh, casual they were about the Emmett Smith robbery. Oh, yeah? Were they? Well, yeah. Really? They said, you don't even have to go to prison. I, I said, most certainly will. I committed a crime, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. And that's why when I was like, I'd like to plead super guilty. And they said, I mean, we barely even want to lock you up. And I said, well, throw away the key. <laughs> you really are tough on yourself, literally being in the most liberal town yeah, on earth. I, we you just, know, uh, I, you know, I, I wasn't, uh, no one ever. Really empathetic here. Well, yeah. No one ever enforced rules on me when mm. I was a kid. So I, I feel it, it'd be unjust not to enforce those rules. So, I mean, if you're, what you're saying is what you're saying, yeah, let's get on out of here. Why do we, we got to wait for nightfall or what? I was saying that in the beginning that maybe we should, but we I'll be honest. We shut our eyes. Then it's night. Well, how are we going to walk out? What? You love just cutting your senses off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. We shut our eyes. Then it's nighttime. How are we going to walk out? It'll take us a little bit longer, but we'll get there. Yeah, also, one, someone will see us. If we're not looking where the people are looking, we'll walk into wall. I thought you said I'm the only one in jail. We'll cut the. Yeah, there's still other people who work here. Ah, oh, they're got the ones it. who want you. I to, have to seen stay here. other people. Yeah, man. There's okay, that bar, makes sense. Guy who drives a bus. There's a guy who makes meals. They've pretty much had off for the past, I don't know, few years. Okay. All right. So that's a good point. So then, how are we going to get around those people? Uh, I don't know. I think I'll just, you know, I, I got some clothes in the back I could give you, and we'll put on some nice street clothes. You know, we'll make you, we'll say that you're my brother, just coming to visit. Okay, well, how does your brother talk? Um, to be honest with you, I don't really have a brother. But I just figured you could just go with the, like, I don't have a brother. Okay. So, I, you could just really get maybe I'll be Maybe I'll be Russian. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I mean, I guess you can be Russian. I don't know. I want to suck your blood. <laughs> That's really more of a vampire than Russian. <laughs> oh, but wasn't he Russian? Transylvania, which I, I don't know where that is. I don't know if that's oh, in Russia. Oh, yeah. I think you're right, actually. Yeah, Dracula was from Count from Transylvania, right? Mr. Bond. Did you ever see Goldeneye? I, uh, I did see okay. Goldeneye. And you want to be a Russian from Goldeneye. I'll be the Russian girl from Goldeneye. You can do that. You could just be yourself. But if you really, for the fun, want to do... A, <laughs> you got to be, be a Russian girl. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. I yeah. like your enthusiasm. Yeah, this will be good. <sighs> All right. So we're going to shut our eyes, and I'm a Russian No, we're girl. not going to shut our eyes. You could pick one. Yeah, but you said it has to be nightfall. How are we going to get around that we'll part? We'll put sunglasses on. That's why you're wearing those sunglasses. Absolutely. All right. That's pretty good. Give me a pair. Of, you got an extra pair? Yeah, yeah. Just take those. Okay, great. <laughs> and I'll keep my eyes shut under here. Well, how about night. one eye shut? One eye shut. This way you're not having 200% night. You're having... 150% night. 150%. Okay, 150% night. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay. All right. And also then you can get around. Pretend with one eye open, it's like a flashlight. 
You know? So if I'm doing one eye open, I think I should be more, and I'm doing the shades, I think I should be like an, uh, a pirate, but in the 80s. Like a pirate, you know what I mean? Yeah, Sunglasses expand. and one eye, I should be doing a pirate, not Russian. I'm going to change the whole thing. All right, you be a pirate. Did you ever see Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. yeah great of movie. It is great. Yeah. Didn't happen in the 90s. What? That's not from the 90s. I know, but the sunglasses part, that's, that seems like very 1980s to me. Oh, like a pirate sunglasses. I'll do a surfer pirate. I mean, really, sure. I'm into that. We're just going to probably not talk to anybody. So you just be doing it to me. I, maybe I should talk to some people. That way we don't arouse suspicion. Okay. You can talk to me okay. first. I'll run lines on you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is a surfer pirate? I'm getting in a carriage. I'm getting, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. The Blackbeard is after me. Pirates oh, of the Caribbean. Man. No. Do you yeah. ever see Johnny Depp? I get it. I yeah. get it. I'm just still having a hard time figuring out why you need to do this. <laughs> because I need to do this. Because it's got to be night. You suggested the sunglasses. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that's going to be night enough. I'll be so honest. Doing one I'm closed. just giving you this stuff to make you happy. Okay. But it's fine. But you want to try to be a pirate? Yeah. Hang on. There's but it's, it's, well, here's the thing. It's beyond just my happiness. It's I think if I don't do this, we'll get arrested. Okay. Look, Lenny over there, uh -huh. he's the computer clerk. Great. Go over and talk to him. He's kind of half in on me. He knows I've been doing this, so I'm not sure he'll be 100% against it if we get caught. Why don't you go talk to Lenny uh -huh. and see, see if, he, uh, if he, like, you know, see if he digs it. Okay. Okay. I'll make my over here. Yeah. I'm, um, what, uh, is this, what ship, what ship is this? <laughs> what ship? What are you talking about, man? Now, uh, pirate ship. What ship, uh, what pirate ship is this? You're in the, you're in Lennisford Community, uh, prison. Okay, Not well. A ship. Good to know. Uh, I'll take. What are you doing here, anyway? Well, I'm a, my a pirate. I'm checking out the area for who, schools. Who let you in? Uh, I Who let myself let in. You? I... <laughs> Jesus, man, I had to kill Lenny now, man. He, he was not buying it. <laughs> uh, you didn't let me get into character enough. I didn't let you. I mean, he guy always had his finger on the button. Now we're Maybe really Maybe start the character before you get over to the people. Okay. If we see anyone else. I'm going to do a more cartoony pirate, too, this time around. Uh, a more also, cartoony pirate. After this, we should talk about how you did kill Lenny. Yeah, man. I, I'm just because now we, I, I'm an accomplice to a murder, and uh, I'm already in jail. And you know, I'd, I'd like things to be just, but I do want you to find your dad. I'm in a real catch twenty two here. What if I also Emmett Smith's number? Coincidence? I don't know. No, you need to say things like that because okay. I'm not a big sports fan. I wouldn't have never noticed. No problem. So that's appreciative. All right. Well, get in the car. We're going in this car. I'm okay. I'm, I think I'm okay with this murder because of uh, oh, issues yeah. that I think I'll work out later. Okay. Um, yeah, man, I hope you're okay with the murder. I'm going to be murdering a bunch of people. I heard skipper, skipper, skipper. You know I am. <laughs> I am as okay with murder as a man is on the deep blue sea. Great. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had it worked out earlier, or you wouldn't have to kill any. This voice is crazy. I was, well, it's a combination of uh, 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 Johnny Depp <laughs> and Jack Nicholson. <laughs> I thought it was a little Adam Sandler in there, too. Ah, uh, maybe, too, me, maybe. Don't take your sunglasses off. Uh, got a little now it's daytime again. Oh, yeah, they put him back on. Put yeah, him um, back on, surfs up. All right. You want to hit pause? Sure. Hit pause. Ah, uh, yes. You want to, I'd say we take a commercial break. And we'll oh, come take back. a commercial break. And we, you and I will talk about something, and then we'll get back. Okay. Well, how do you think that movie's turning out? <laughs> do a little commentary. Oh, yeah. You know, we'll do how, do you, how do I think the movie's turning out? Yeah. I thought, I don't know. I think a lot of character development so far. A lot of character <laughs> development. A lot of character. A lot of stuff there. like, I don't know, does that need to be in there? Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah, um, yeah. But I, I like that it's going to an action-y kind of a place. Oh, you think it's going to be an action I think everybody. so. I mean, look, all right? This one guy who has got to now, he's compromised his morals, uh -huh. which he's held true. That's why he put himself in jail, basically, yeah, high moral for this guy. armed robbery. He's witnessed a murder uh -huh. at that. But, at the same time, he want, you know, he's made a pact. This guy is helping him escape jail. Yeah. And he's also a very agreeable guy. So, 
Yeah, that guy seems cool. So now they're going on an adventure to find the jailer's father. Jailer, we don't even know that guy's name yet. Yeah, well, maybe they'll maybe mention in that. a second. Maybe, we'll yeah, maybe find out a little more about him. Yeah, we'll find out about the robbery. Yeah, I also don't think I know the prisoner. I name. think I'm cool with the robbery. I think that's handled. Maybe that comes back later. I, I mean, I, the robber. Oh, the robber. Actually, I want to find his name out and shit. Sure, we should probably do that. Um, but I think ultimately going to a good place. I think it's going to a good place, and I think for the most part, it's going to be about the mission of finding this guy's dad. Okay, I don't do know. you think? I don't know. I'm just watching, man. I'm just like, I don't know where they're going. I love to see this. I love to see how this movie turns out. Mm. Let me pause it. Okay, cool. Uh, what is your name there, matey? <laughs> My name is uh, t- 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 Tobar. Tobar. What's your name, old friend? My name is... <laughs> My name is... Uh, <laughs> Cl- <laughs> Clicky. Clicky. <laughs> Good to meet you, Clicky. Is that a nickname or your natural what? born? No, it was my C name. Clicky. Your C name is Clicky. Yeah, well, old lady Ocean <laughs> gave me a name and it was Clicky. <laughs> Clicky, man. I love uh, you, man. Yeah. Clicky on the ocean, man. Yeah, oh, she semen. whipped in on a wave and said, You're Clicky. <laughs> and no explanation. Did you, what was your name before Clicky? Ah, uh, before Clicky, I was Alexander Edmonton. Oh, man. Clicky's. But then, Ooh. old lady Ocean mm-hmm. swept in, mm-hmm. and she said, uh, uh, well, I'll tell you what happened. I was, uh, I told her my favorite movie is The Wizard of Oz. Click your heels three times to go to Kansas. And she Clicky. said, well, you'll be Clicky. I love Clicky, man. Yep. That's a great name. <laughs> Clicky, man, I need your help, man. I love to help. I need your yeah. help, man. What, uh, what kind of uh, marine crime are we talking about? <sighs> don't know if this is a marine crime. To be mm-hmm. honest, it could be. Could be. Even Guler. Could be, but I don't know, man. I'm okay. trying to find my father. I, 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 <laughs> I what? Are you going to help me? I, I would love to. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yar. This is great news. Now, before we go out on this mission, <laughs> why don't we, we should maybe hit the town and for some land whores. Ah, you want to get a little punani? Yeah, freshen the, yourself that's up. That's the pirate's way. All right, get in my Camaro. Yep. Yep. Want music? Do you like music, Clicky? Mm. I would. I'd love a, a music, or we <laughs> we could sing to each other like we would on the ship. I gotta be honest, prisoner. Your commitment to this character <laughs> is amazing. I believe it. What character? Oh, exactly. Lower sunglasses. <laughs> wink. Ah, <laughs> uh, clicky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, I've never got. Uh, what was your name again? Tobar. Tobar. Old oh, Tobar the Great. Oh. I named myself that. Yep. And we were riding Sitting. down the road with a bottle of beer on the wall. <laughs> Ninety-nine <laughs> bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-nine <laughs> bottles of beer. <laughs> Take one down, down, pass it around. Ninety-eight bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-seven bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-seven bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. Ninety-six bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-five bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-five bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. Ninety-four bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-three bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-three bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. Ninety-two bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-one bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-one bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. Ninety bottles of beer on the wall. Eighty-nine bottles of beer on the wall. Eighty-nine bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Eighty-seven bottles of beer on the wall. Eighty-six bottles of beer on the wall. Eighty-seven bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Eighty-six bottles of beer on the wall. Seventy-four bottles of beer on the wall. Seventy-four bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. Seventy-three bottles of beer on the wall. Seventy bottles of beer on the wall. Seventy bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. Sixty-two bottles of beer on the wall. Sixty-two bottles of beer on the wall. Sixty-nine bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. Fifty-five bottles of beer on the wall. Fifty-five bottles of beer on the wall. Fifty-five bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. Ninety-nine bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-eight bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-nine bottles of beer. Ah, we're here. 
Ah, oke. Okay. Uh, <laughs> This is my house. You want to come in for a drink and then we'll go out and get some pussy? Oh, I'd love to get a sailor's yeah. drink. Cool, man. Here, Jay, welcome. Uh, let me open up the fridge for you. Oh, uh, yeah. What do you like? You like beer, motor oil? Craft cheese. Craft cheese. I, I got some motor oil and craft cheese. Great. Rub here some craft cheese. Uh, thank you for a slice. Ooh, yum, put a little yum, motor oil yum, on yum, that. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh, oh, so yes. delicious. I feel like a car. Oh, God. Oh, God. You ever get, get a... the engine going. <laughs> Why are you going to drink? Oh, I got uh, a <laughs> more than enough for me because I got I got about seven different bottles of beer, beer on the wall, wall six different bottles of beer. beer. Take one down, pass it around. Five bottles of beer on the wall, four bottles of beer on the wall, four bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. Ninety-eight bottles of beer on the wall, ninety-seven bottles of beer on the wall, ninety-seven bottles of beer. Oh, well, if you don't want any bottles of beer. Uh, uh, no, that's okay. Uh, uh, clicky, yeah. He's got enough motor oil in him to last a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I love the receptor here. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I figure we freshen up. Freshen up. Oh, I want to do my yeah. hair a little bit. All Ooh, right. Yeah. Now, where do you want to go? I will. Where's the first stop? We got a few options. Okay. We can head out to the corner, sit on the corner, see what kind of hot women come by, and we can yell at them. That's a move. See if they want to. Oh, we're on a pussy mission. We're on a pussy I mission. Forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get you a little pussy before we start looking for my father. Yeah, and we start looking for my father in the first thing in the morning. No oh, matter what. No matter what. No matter what. Or we go to the club. There's a strip club. We could just look at it. Let's go. Or we yeah. Go to a coffee shop. Just meet a nice person. Yeah, I like that idea. They originally said where we sit in lawn chairs on the corner and <laughs> yeah. scream at women <laughs> in bikinis. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Here's a corner. Here we are. Ooh, here comes this one. Look at this one. Up. Oh, Redhead. Oh. Hey, big red. Ready. Ready. Ready, aim, fire. Ready, aim, fire. <laughs> Good one. Boop. You boys are jerks. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Bitch. We didn't know you weren't into it. Yeah, it must be a lick a lot of pussy. <laughs> <Lesbian> <laughs> <dice>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we will scream at another girl. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here's one coming by. Mm. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. bounce, bounce, bounce. Somebody bought a ticket to the bounce house. <laughs> I wanna die with you. Yep, your boys are jerk. <laughs> Super similar to the last reaction. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's try this one last one. This this chick coming out here. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Big girl. Like like look like Janet Reno. <laughs> oh, I love a good tall woman. Who looks like Janet Reno? You look like oh. Janet Reno. Y'all crazy. You think so? Yes. Ain't no one ever said that to me before. Well, why don't you come back to my house? Well, that's a fair, that's a fair thing to ask. I, I like a girl who likes a guy. Yeah, I like a lot of guys. I didn't like you. <coughs> What's your name, old sailor? Clicky. Oh, good to meet you, Clicky. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. You might have to bring my dog. I love I love the dog to be involved. I love it too. Go on, you two get out of here, you two young lovers. Okay. So where are you from? Mm, the South. Oh yeah? Yep. Where? Uh Waynesville. Waynes Waynesville. Oh yeah. We rich area. Very wealthy. Yeah. We have a lot of money. Yeah. A lot of money and a lot of good things. Yeah. Big things. Do you want a cheese slice and I'm, motor oil? That's my favorite. That's the best. That's the best thing you could have. Arr. Somehow. I knew. <laughs> With kismet. Hey, I'm back. I got to uh, I gotta tell this chick to get out of here. Because uh, we got to find my father. Oh, and You right. guys have just been talking for hours. All right. Let me give you her a proper goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Damn, dog. You in there, Clicky. <laughs> love you forever. I love you. Uh, all right, cool. Click. Arr, my thirst has been quenched for a land whore. <laughs> Let's <Jesus>. go. <laughs> heard that, Clicky. Let's go. Very nice. <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to get back? What? I didn't hear you on the way out. What'd you say? I said it wasn't very nice. Do you yeah, call well, me a land whore? God wasn't very nice when he named me Clicky. <laughs> 
God so, didn't name you Clicky. A woman, <laughs> something in the sea named you Clicky. Oh, boy, you certainly have a <laughs> lot of information right off the bat. About me. Yeah, I... I <laughs> It's true, though. She's right. She's, yeah. Well, you were named Clicky by the Lord. Know. I don't feel ganged up upon. Also, between you and me. Yeah. Let's remember, you're also not a pot. What? You're a robber, a guy who robbed Debit Smith. You were just deep into a rabbit hole character. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. I can't believe people are buying. What you're talking about. All right. Let's I move on. I sailed the seven seas with my ship, Blackbeard. <laughs> Blackbeard? Yeah, that's the name of my ship, Blackbeard. The Army of the Dead. Uh, very similar to to that movie, I think. I don't know about that. I don't really remember it, but I'm guessing. Black Pearl. You see? That's yeah, a subtle so difference. Right. This, is a, this is a whole so other thing. That's a different movie. Um, you want to uh, find your father? You do mind? I don't mind at all. What, uh, what do you think we should start? I mean, I haven't even got this thing started. Well... When a pirate always is searching for his treasure, he takes out a map. Well, I do have this map. Perfect. <laughs> so, uh, is there an X? Yeah, there's a big, there's a bunch of dotted lines with an X on the old laboratory. There we have. That's where our search begins and ends. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go in there. <laughs> do, 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 yeah. do. Let's get into the Camaro. You want to yes. you you listen to the radio or you want to sing a song? Uh, let's sing another song. Sure. What do you want to sing? Okay. Uh, beep. Beep. 95 bottles, bottles of beer, beer on the wall. wall. 95, 95 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. 94 bottles of beer on the wall. 93 bottles of beer on the wall. 93 bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. 92 bottles of beer on the wall. 91 bottles of beer on the wall. 91 bottles. Here we are. Here we are. Uh, this is at the old laboratory. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is an intimidating building. All right, Clicky, I'm going to ask you a question. It's up to you. One of us... A riddle. Let's choose your... One of us has to stay with the car. Oh, okay. I'm asking now. I could go in and meet my father and, and figure out some shit. So... Or... The, okay. You can go in <laughs> and meet my father. This is interesting. And then really, like, maybe warm me up to him. Oh, so what are, the, what are our options? I could, what do you think? Should I be brave and go in myself, or should you go in for me and tell me what he's like? Why don't we mull it over? <laughs> we'll take a commercial break. Yeah, I've decided I'll go in first and rev up the old guy for you to meet. Yeah, I'll some... ask him Clicky's five big questions. Clicky's five big? Yeah, Clicky's five big questions. I uh, love it. Yep. All right, you go in, and Alrighty. then uh, and then I'm going to wait in the car. But, dude, if he's too much for me, I don't want to meet him. If he's a fucking prick, you tell me. I'll, uh, I'll leave. Yeah, that's why I'm asking him Clicky's five big ones. All right. Uh, now, uh, before I go in there, as you know, my mm. eye was <laughs> taken by a seagull, mm. and I wear these sunglasses. Uh, <laughs> you got to give me step-by-step -step directions on where he's sitting. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It says go through the hallway. Okay. Go down the steps. Great. And then there's a chair. He should I be in the chair. I can do that. Okay. I'll see you back in three seashells. See you, dude. Make the hallway turn. Uh, knock, knock. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing quite well. I... Good, to, it's good to see you. Who are you? Why are you in my lab? To find questions right off the bat, you've answered two of Clicky's big ones. Mm. Who am I and why am I here? <laughs> Who are you? My name is Clicky. I'm an old sailor from the Pacific Ocean. I've wrestled sea monster after sea monster. I've slayed with many maidens and a land whore who looked like Janet Reno a half hour ago. Clicky, that's a wonderful tale. That you've told me about being on the sea. <laughs> Thank you very much. Not right, right, right off the bat, a lot of people not as responsive as you are. Dr. Doc, you know. Dr. Tobar. Dr. Tobar, that's not my that's not <laughs> no, my No, it's not. It's not my oh. name. My name is you, Dr. Ringworm. Oh, Dr. Ringworm. I was Dr. Ringworm. So close. Yeah, and it's really weird you'd bring up that name. I well, haven't heard that name in a that long time. Is good good observation. I'm here on behalf of... No, don't give it away, Clicky. I Who's... am a restaurateur. Who are you just talking to? What? 
I don't, you just. Have you ever seen Jim Gavigan? I have. He's a wonderful comedian. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> sometimes Jim Gavigan will do a double voice. Do ah, yeah. Like, like talk to the third. Yeah. To the third oh, camera. No. I don't know. This is crowd is like, what is this guy talking about? So that's what Clicky did. Hot like pocket. Hot, you know the bit. I oh, love the bit. Good bit. I love um, it. It's a good bit. Yeah. Anyway, what uh, Clicky <laughs> is, I'm a restaurateur. Uh-huh. And I... You, am, wait, you're a restaurateur? Yeah, that's What's right. crazy is that you look like someone who's in jail pretending to be a pirate who's now telling me you're a restaurateur. There's so many options, so many things to think about. Yeah, well, let's just focus on restaurateur. <laughs> uh, fine, I'm a go-with kind of guy. Good, good. I am the same. I'll go with you. Yeah, no, Where okay. do you want to go? I'll ride. Okay, well, anyway, I'm representing Mastriano's famous Italian deli and meat purveyor of sandwiches. Mm, we mm, do a lot of cold mm, cuts. Mm. Uh, and how These are, are you? Delicious things. Thank you very much. Are you happy with your cold cut service? I am so happy with all of my... C- I'm doing a character now, too, right? No, what? Yep. All right. No. Oh. So, my first question is, um, what? how much do you make? Financially or what do you mean? Oh, money. Yeah, money. I don't really work here for money, as they say. Oh. I, yeah, no, I just do. Um, I do this for the love of the game. Being a scientist, it's beautiful to me. Ah, oh, okay. but they don't pay me much here, as you can see. There's no one else in this building. Yeah, yeah another desolate place. It's just really my own lab where I work on secret mad projects. <laughs> Wow, very cool. Yeah. That is very, very cool. Would you like to see some of my projects? Of course, Clicky. <laughs> I, I went Clicky. I did Gavin again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm glad that both of you agree. <laughs> Good to see hey. you both on my side. <laughs> yeah, anyway, show me the project. Yeah, now this here is, uh, this here is a gun that when you Ooh. shoot someone, it yeah. makes the body parts weird sizes and it essentially very mutilates fun. them. Yeah, oh. shoot him in the arm, it'll make his arm huge. My, wow. Yeah, for your enemies, you use this weapon. Wow. Too I big, almost. If I'm with a lady, that's pretty good. I can enhance the penis size. No, that's how the idea came to me, of course. Ah. But it becomes so big, so big that you can no longer carry it around, and it becomes ah. a burden. This is the burden gun. Oh, wow, I don't want that. Okay. No, you don't want to play with this, Clicky. I don't want to fuck it around. Oh, well, hands off. <laughs> Check out this one. This is a Whoa. this is an old goldfish tank that I filled with I human urine. Yeah, it's all just human urine in there that I keep for a collection of all the people I've met. Interesting. Mm. That is great. Uh, yeah. Well. And I have one last one. Oh, good. Well, if you're interested. If you're not, we can. I, no, I've got, I don't want to waste your time clicking. I've got to hit up a couple more science labs <laughs> to offer restaurant stuff to. This is going to be right up your alley. I've got time for one more. This is going to be right up your alley. I love it. This is a pretzel filled with cheese. Oh, I love cheese. Yeah. I, I just ate a Kraft single slice doused in motor oil. Now, here's the big ask. Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I hate to pull you aside and do this to you. You mm. tell me a restaurant tour. I'm looking to get these babies pushed into all different restaurants. Yeah, obviously we'll find room for this. And I, well, I'm supposed to talk to my supervisor. For, let me talk to my supervisor. Sure, I'm take your bring time. Bring him back. Bring him back here. Yeah, bring him back here. Uh, oh, whoa! I just got one of the next science labs just canceled on us, so I've got a little more time. I'm gonna go get a restaurant door, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna. He's our main machismo. He's Mr. Mastriano, so he'll have to adopt a very thick Italian accent for this. Um, Mm. Not adopt. uh, I'm adopting a kid, so the words in my head. Listen, I'm not good with words either. Sometimes I just say tomato. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna put it against you. Ah, Gaffigan's got a great bit about tomatoes. I mean, before you go. <laughs> uh, if you have say. to, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, what's this, this guy talking about tomatoes still? What is he? Huh, what is, he is he made of tomatoes? His face is all red. That is one excerpt. I've got to go. See you later, Clicky. Okay. Up the stairs. Up. Whoop. Hey. I made a wrong turn. I, okay. All right. Sorry, I... <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> all right, up this, oh, there's a real door, okay, yeah, Woo. that was intense, mm-hmm. so, here's what you need to know, mm-hmm. he passed Clicky's five questions, 
eat <laughs> steak. You, you, you ask them all five? <laughs> yeah, I can hard to keep track. Some of them he got around to on his own, so it kind of worked. <laughs> oh, cool. He thinks you uh-huh. are a restaurateur. You are my supervisor. Oh, my God. Mastriano's meat providers. Oh, oh, my. And sandwiches, mainly cold cuts. This is perfect. Great. So I get to go in yes. as a restaurateur, exactly. and if I like him... You can, you can have him as your father, and if you don't, you go, well, I don't know that we'll take your business. Okay. All right, so I should adopt a... I'll put on this wig, this mustache. Yes. All right, I got this backpack. Very Italian. Do you yeah. want to work on it with me? Yeah, okay, let's try it out. Okay. Hey. No. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Wait, That's how's fat. Italian go? That's that fat Albert. <laughs> How's Italian people talk? I didn't know me. Ah, okay. I got it. Okay, okay what do you want? That's Buenas noches. Perfect. 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 So All right. might want to get some My English friend. words in there in oh. case he doesn't know Italian. But good to lead with that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to walk in. Oh, do you know the... And you gave me the directions, so obviously you know how to get yeah, there. Yeah, I know how to get there. Right. Just watch the car. I'd love to. All right. Okay. Watch the car. And don't touch anything. No, I wouldn't touch it. Because you, you don't want... If you hit neutral, I don't want that thing going in a river with you. No, I would not want All right. Walk okay. Good. And I walk through the door, down these steps, to the right, there's a door, click, and, uh, hey, no, hello, <laughs> buenos noches, my friend, how, how are you, pretty, my Italian friend, pretty good, my friend, I'm just telling you here, I'm here to talk to, talk to you, oh, I almost fell out my goddamn fucking chair over here, hang on a second, hang on a second, it's okay, <laughs> it's rickety, my name's uh, Michelangelo, Michelangelo, different from Mastriani's. Uh, that's why I just used that name, because I think it sounds better. Yeah, better. <laughs> better. Better is better. <laughs> I got to tell you, in the, Italian, in the Italian culture, I'd love to talk to you about your cheese, your cheese idea, I your would, cheese pretzel idea. I would love that. <laughs> But I have to be honest with you. Uh-huh. In Italian culture, it's very, it's more proper that when we conduct a business, we mimic each other. So I'm going to mimic you now. And do I, not take that as offense. It's me trying to be like you. I would never. If that's all right, we can just talk in your native tongue. That is better. Does this make you feel more comfortable? Yes, absolutely. Do you like, you like my cheese idea? This idea, it's a great idea. One of the best I've ever heard. So you maybe want to buy my cheese idea? I would, but I also have five questions I'd love to ask you before moving forward. Of course, five questions is good. <laughs> it's great, friend. One is Mr. Dr. Ringworm. That's my name. <laughs> Dr. Ringworm, question for you. Have you ever had a child? If so, where has he? I I had uh I no I've no I have one child I think that I know about I don't know where he is. <laughs> Your dialect is so perfect. Hard to do, hard to do it the same. Thank you. I almost feel like you're doing me better than me. <laughs> I feel like we're both doing somebody else. I don't know who. Uh, we got we're so connected. You and I. <laughs> Great question number two. Question number two. Uh, have you been married? Oh, no, i never been married. Never had a bride. Never had a bride to me name. Never have you had a bride. No woman in your life who you've taken a love with, taken to bed. Never, just a good girl. A simple girl. Great. <laughs> a simple girl years ago. That uh, I never wear a condom. You... I didn't understand the last word. My dialect is a little off. I'll say it again. I was up with a girl years ago. I never wear a condom. Never wear. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this is wonderful news to me. So, question. Question three. N- number three. Number three. Big number three. It's big. It's so big. Is there anyone in your life you miss? You want to see, maybe? Yeah, I want to see the kid. That I has had sex with the girl without a condom, and I see the kid. You want to see a kid? I want to see the girl you kid. didn't have the sex with. Yeah. Question number two. Yeah. This kid. Yeah. 
You love. I love them. You love them so much. I love them so much. I can see a smile in the clouds sometimes. Wait, in the clouds? In the clouds. I look in the cloud when he's not around, and I see a smile. When he's not around, is this child alive? What is going on with this child? You, you go see him. He's clearly alive. Go see him. Ah, well, in order for me to go see him, I'd have to be taken off the earth. <laughs> Sometimes you sound like an old Macintosh computer that used to do the talking. Well, But I saw to say that as you're telling me, your kid is off the earth. Well, I would like uh, my kids are off the earth, but you, uh, if it opens up to me, and since you're talking as me to me, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Talking is us together. Mm. I feel I can tell I, I made up a kid, another kid, because. Wait, hang on, slow down. Before I ask you the number one question, I'm going to leave for a second, bring in somebody else to ask the final question. If you don't mind. No, that's okay with me. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, do it. <laughs> <laughs> to do this, I'm not going to bring in somebody else, but I want to take upon who, your new dialect, <laughs> which I'm seeing is more Bobcat Goldthwait. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy! <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to do Bobcat as best as I could. I'll stay in this one. Okay, that's fine by me. Just tell me about your kid, but in a more way where it's easier for my ears to understand. <laughs> okay, uh... Now. Your kid passed away. Now. My kid passed away. <laughs> <laughs> my, I started to laugh. But <laughs> It's great. Uh, pause. Let me pause this for a second. This movie is great, Anthony, by the way, that we're watching. Yeah. But it's crazy to me how much that one character sounds identical to Bobcat. Uh, yeah, at some point. Uh, I didn't really pick up on it until you said something. And uh, you're 100% right. What do you think they're? What do you think is going on in this movie? This this robot. What's? I kind of feel like this guy's kid died. Yeah. Um, and then I feel like he is a scientist, so he made another kid in his image. Oh, hang on, I didn't even get that. Let's see. Yeah. Hello. Hello. So my kid died. This so I made sad. another kid in his image. What did you name that kid? Well, I named him Tobar. Are you telling me, hang on a second, are you telling me that I'm not a real person? Toba. Yeah. I searched you down, Dad. Good to be reunited. <laughs> <laughs> I searched you down. I've been searching you down for the past 20, the past hour. And to find out that I'm not a real person, what do you mean I'm not a real person? You're real to me. <laughs> well, so you built me? I built you with my hands. <laughs> But that's better. Because I, I, built, I made a, built a kid before. But this time, I built it with my hands. Yeah, I built you in a lab somewhere. How do you feel about that? Toba. I I feel complicated. I I've taken off my human mask, so now I talk like bro. Uh, It's good to see you. Tobar. It's good to see you, but I like when you have the skin of my own kid on your face. That is understandable compute. Did you not know you were a robot? I never knew, Dad. I never knew I was I mean, a robot. I named you Tobar. I had suspicions. That's robot backwards. I didn't put that together. I just thought I it really was thought that'd help you. French Irish. <laughs> yeah. Looking back, I, I get how you could see that. Wow. Um, and I I don't know. I, I would I'd walk by toasters and I would cry. And I never knew why. You'd cry. Yeah. <laughs> you see a toaster. Yeah. <laughs> Because that's a robot, too. No, no. So I, I think I, I just had some kind of connection with a toaster that yeah. I couldn't quite put my finger on. And I always felt comfortable. Whenever I would go into Best Buy, I just I felt at home. Mm. <laughs> it never hit me until now, though. All uh, right. Do you have any dates coming up? Anything oh. you want to plug? Uh, yeah. Um, Toba. <laughs> 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 
I'll be, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think, uh, I think I don't have anything on the calendar. I just, uh, I'm going to leave it wide open so I could see you. It's good to hear. I'll be at the stress factory <laughs> all week doing who the fuck knows what, sitting in the back cleaning bathrooms. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Gregston underscore. Uh, bitch. <laughs>